Abigail Doolittle joining us right now to talk a little bit more about this. You can see it on your screen, a big drop uh, just a few hours ago in those shares intraday on the back of conflicting reports about whether Tesla is abandoning its strategy towards a lower priced EV. This is a really interesting yeah. one because Reuters put out a report, mm -hmm. an exclusive, basically the equivalent of a Bloomberg scoop, so presumably work that they really want to stand by, saying that Tesla has scrapped their low cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. So basically saying that three sources are saying that they are no longer going to go after the low cost Tesla that Elon Musk talked about in 2020, that instead they're going to focus on self-driving taxis and that it's coming from pressure from uh, China EV. EVs, cheap China EVs. But Elon Musk then comes out on X saying that Reuters is lying, in parentheses, again. He then says Reuters is dying. He then does googly eyes uh, to the idea of the robo-taxis. So I think that it's to be seen okay. what... Okay, did, did any of those tweets actually say whether they were actually abandoning this program or not? So it's Reuters interesting. So Reuters so. then put out a statement right. saying that they, he has not responded and that he did not address any of the, the claims uh, specifically outside of just this sort of implant. So just a broad speech. statement that they're lying, yes. but didn't actually address did the, not the, the address specific it. issues. So there may here. be more here to come. But the importance yeah. is that uh, for Tesla, for both the top and the bottom line, we're looking at a high single digit growth number right. versus you know, 30, 40% just a year ago. Yeah. So they need the growth. They need this low-cost yeah. Tesla. That's the big deal.